Wondering what is gypsum board? Want to know much more about it? Then watch this video till the end. Video, we are going to discuss everything about gypsum board and its type. Before discussing types of gypsum board, let us understand, what is gypsum board? Gypsum board comprises of a non-combustible core, made of gypsum, and a paper surfacing on the face, back, and long edges. Gypsum boards are also known as drywall, wall board, or plaster board. You will find a variety of gypsum board thicknesses and heights. Standard gypsum boards are 8 to 14 feet long and 3 feet wide. You will find a variety of gypsum board thicknesses, and each is used for specific purposes. 1 by 4 inch. A low-cost gypsum board used as a base in a multi-layer application, for improving sound control, used to cover existing walls, and ceilings in remodeling. Generally, a gypsum ceiling board is an ideal choice for home decor. 3 by 8 inch. A gypsum board principally applied in a double layer system, over wood framing, and as a face layer in repair, or remodeling projects. 1 by 2 inch. Generally used as a single layer wall, and ceiling material in residential work. 5 by 8 inch. A greater gypsum board thickness provides additional fire resistance, and better impact resistance. 3 by 4, or 1 inch. They are used in the interior decor as a shaft wall, stairwell, chaseway, area separation firewall, and corridor ceiling. Apart from thicknesses, gypsum boards with different edges are also available in the market. Edges available are square, tapered, beveled, rounded and tongue and groove. The square and tapered edged boards are the most common and easily available in the market. Beveled and round edge boards can be produced on demand. There are various types of gypsum boards available in market. So, let us understand the common types of gypsum boards one by one. Regular or standard gypsum board. It is covered with ivory cardboard on its facing side, gray cardboard on the back side, and blue color tape on the edges. This gypsum board is used as a covering material for walls, ceilings, and partition walls. It is ideal for false ceiling. Foil backed gypsum board. As its name suggests, it has aluminum foil laminated to the back surface of a regular gypsum board. It is served as vapor barriers, and keeps interior moisture within the building, at a suitable comfort level. Use it on the interior face of exterior walls and ceilings, in new construction, and remodeling with furred masonry, wood, or steel framing. Fire resistance gypsum board. It is covered with pink cardboard on the face side, pink or gray cardboard on the back side, and red color tape on the edges. These are ideal for ceiling and dry wall where fire protection is a priority. Moisture resistance gypsum board. It is covered with green cardboard on the face side, gray cardboard on the back side, and green color tape on the edges. It is used as a covering material for interior walls that require specific moisture-rated assemblies. This is ideal for ceilings and drywall partitions, and can be used as a base for tiles installation, in wet areas like bathrooms, kitchens, and external soffits in sheltered positions. Fire and Moisture Resistance Gypsum Board it is covered with green cardboard on the face and the back side, and black tape on the edges. It is used as a covering material for interior walls and ceilings, that require specific fire or moisture rated assemblies. It is generally used as a dry wall partition, and for the protection of structural steel elements. Gypsum Liner Board Liner board is available in 3 quarters, or 1 inch thickness, and widths of 2, or 4 feet. Gypsum liner board is also available with fiberglass mat facing, which increases its weather and mold resistance. 
It has a special fire-resistant core, encased in moisture-resistant paper. It serves as a liner panel in shaft walls, stairwells, chaseways, area separation firewalls, and corridor ceilings. Gypsum sheathing. It is available in 2 feet and 4 feet widths, and 1 half or 5 eighths inch thickness. It is also available with type X core, and glass mat facing. It is used as, a protective fire resistant membrane, under exterior wall surfacing materials, such as, wood siding, masonry veneer, stucco, and shingles. It also provides protection against passage of water, and adds structural rigidity to the framing system. This product is more weather and mold resistant than paper-faced gypsum sheathing. It is often used as a substrate for exterior insulating finishing systems. Exterior Gypsum Soffit Board Soffit board is available in 1 half for 5 8 inch thickness. This gypsum board is designed for outdoor applications. It is used on the undersides of, eaves, canopies, carports, and other exterior areas, with indirect exposure to the weather. SAG Resistance Gypsum Board It is covered with ivory cardboard on its facing side, gray cardboard on the back side, and ivory color tape on the edges. It is ideal for texturing. It is only one half inch thick, but offer improved resistance to sag, when compared to standard 5 8 inch gypsum board. Impact Resistance Gypsum Board The face and back side of this board, is made up of tough fiberglass mats, and color of edges is ivory. It generally has 5 8 inch thickness. They offer greater resistance, to the impact of solid objects from high traffic, and vandalism, than regular gypsum panels. Abuse Resistance Gypsum Board The face and back side of this board is covered by durable fiberglass mat, and color of edge is ivory. It offers greater resistance to surface indentation, abrasion, and penetration than standard gypsum board. Type X Gypsum Board it is covered with ivory cardboard on its facing side, gray cardboard on back side, and ivory color tape on edges. It comes in 5 8 inch thickness. The core material is reinforced with short glass fibers. It is used for most types of fire rated assemblies. Type C Gypsum Board It looks similar as standard gypsum board. It is available in, 1 half or 5 8 inch thicknesses. It is used for most types of fire resistance rated assemblies. We hope this video has offered you the knowledge you were looking for. This information will help you choose a suitable gypsum board design, and type for your next home refurbishment project. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the link of our website, given in the description. If you have any query, do not hesitate, and ask us in comment box. And please do like, and share.